In today's video, I'll show you how to produce a clay render in 3ds Max and V-Ray. A clay render is a, is a monochromatic rendering. Why make a clay render, you ask? Uh, one, to achieve the desired light balance and uh, two, it acts as a first draft that uh, I present to my clients for feedback purposes in regard to camera angle, proper illumination, and other nitty gritty stuff. It's the best approach to avoid rework that consumes a lot of time as a 3D artist. So this is the scene we'll be working on today. Uh, camera settings, ISO 100, shutter speed 50, suitable for interior rendering, white balance, neutral, check the automatic vertical tilt, which is very important. Render settings, progressive as the image sampler, the units as uh, shown, noise threshold at 0 0.005, very important to avoid noise on the rendered image. Color mapping, exponential, image filter, filter type, area, and a global illumination or GI, irradiance map and light cache with the subdivisions as are shown. Let's begin interactive rendering to see what we have. Now it's pretty straightforward to produce a clay render. Go to global switches, check the box next to material override settings. When you click on the render button, nothing happens. So this is because we have to specify or insert a video material that we will be using as the override. So now uh, the full scene has the default Vray material applied. As you can notice, light, illumination is not affected by the override. As a side note, uh, for my interior renders, I always use the studio lighting setup for proper light balance. So check out our video, how to create studio light balance setup for more on that. Let's begin to exclude a few items. Uh, I'll begin with the windows to allow not natural light in.
go to exclude search for the item in question and uh, click on the right side facing arrows then click on ok you can see some sunlight is now visible but our shears are opaque so we also exclude this repeat the same steps for any other item you would like to exclude I'll also exclude my plant and the PC on the desk. To return to normal RGB mode, just uncheck the box next to material override settings as shown. In this video we learned how to produce a clay render in 3ds max and very the key takeaway is that uh, a clay render is helpful one to achieve the desired light balance and two it acts as a fast draft that you can present to your clients for feedback purposes as always please thumbs up the video it really helps subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions which areas you need clarification on.